Hello everyone, this is Johnny Reed and welcome back to the channel. And today I will be reacting to Meet the Cast, The Totem Pole Season 3. If you don't know what Totem Pole is, um, then... I'm not good at explaining stuff. Go watch it. It's a reality competition show. You know, people get voted out. People, the, the total pull aspect of it is that the winner of the competition will rank everyone and the bottom will be in trouble. But it already has two seasons out on YouTube and there's a game on brantsteel.com, not sponsored. Um, and I will be reacting to Meet the Cast. Yes, I know, I look homeless. But this is what the coronavirus does to everyone. Um... I need to shave really bad. Um, anyhow, let's get into it. So what this video is going to look like, I'm actually going to react to the cast, how I think they might do, what their strategies look like, who they are as a person, why we even casted them, okay. what is so great about them. We're just going to analyze the cast. We're going to do a full meet me, okay? Everybody. Right, <laughs> Hello, Tone Pole family. My name is Wesley Bryant. I'm the creator, executive producer, and now the host of the Totem Pole. Okay. And I want to talk to you about season three and the cast, mm -hmm. because let's be honest, it's time to meet the cast. Season, we're doing something brand new. So we put 10 of them in the living room, and Ooh. they're about to play the game. But what these 10 players don't know is that four more players are about to walk in no. the house and play this game with them. This season is a season of baggage. That means twist all throughout the season, from the cast to the defender to the challenges, everything will have to do with baggage. And it's going to flip this game on its oh, head. No. Because let's be honest, we're all carrying baggage. There's baggage in everyone's lives. But some of these players are carrying a little bit more baggage than everyone else. Enough of all of that. Mm, let's okay. get to it. Let's meet the cast. Oh. Okay, before we start the cast, damn. Damn. This looks like it's going to be good. Um, I'm excited to see who the four returners are. Um, I think they're going to be returners. I'm not sure. but um, And I think I recognize one of those players from the sequester mini, but I'm not sure. Ignore that. Um, yeah. Also, I would love to audition or apply. But I don't got that kind of money to fly out to wherever this is to play. I ain't got that money. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. let's get into it. First, we have Tessa. Tessa is absolutely amazing. Tessa Dupree is her name. And she's actually studying psychology. And her dream job is to work in a prison. <laughs> Tessa is so outside the box and she's super unpredictable and you never really know what she's going to say or do next. And her casting video was so funny. She was hilarious. And you're going to get to see more about her casting video a little later on. <laughs> to be honest, when she's in a large group, she seems to be a little bit... Okay, wait, but I recognize this person right here, the, the white lady right there, sitting next to Tessa. I can't, I don't remember her name. Bit quieter, but it's because she's thinking. Her wheels are always spinning. She's either thinking of like what her next move is, or what she can say to position herself better, okay. or she's analyzing you. Again, she's studying psychology, so her brain is always spinning. Up next, we have Asher. She's a student from Arkansas. She's grown up in Arkansas her entire life. Ooh, and I she like is her someone already. who appreciates this game. From my understanding, she's actually played this game with some of her friends and interacted with people from the show. She's a huge fan. Ooh. Been watching from the beginning, season one, season two, and now she's made it onto season three. And girl, me too. As someone on this side of the camera, as the creator of the game, it means a lot to me to see someone who appreciates the game itself so much. Um, and there's so many of you who do that, and it really does. Like you stick out. Like whenever you put so much into it. We see it, and we love you so much for it. Like we love you too, Wesley. Um, damn, yeah, no, I, I, I know where that's coming from because I play the friggin' Total Pole interactive game. Like that's how obsessed I am with this game. This game is amazing. If uh, it, it does, there's bits of it that do seem a little bit more tame. At least the first season was like very tame. The second season got a little bit better, and I'm excited to see what he adds to this game. However, there's a baggage twist, and. This game, this season, has new elements that nobody could have prepared for, including Asher. Uh -oh. She's probably the quietest person in the cast, but that doesn't mean she doesn't bring a lot to the table. She brings a lot to the table, and she has a lot to offer. And uh -huh. next, we have Jackie. She 
was a college soccer player in Texas, but and now she is studying screenwriting. Yeah. She's strong and she always keeps going. And as a you know a college athlete, you have to be a strong person that keeps yeah. pushing yourself. Yeah. And that's exactly who she is. Oh, Up yeah. next, we have Luke. He is a freelance choreographer Ooh, from girl. Texas. Luke is one of the most magnetic people on the cast. Even just in his videos and his applications, in his interviews, <laughs> on FaceTime and everything, he was so funny. I was trying to be serious and like get information out of him but he kept making me laugh so i was just sitting there like don't laugh he's so funny <laughs> so magnetic and you're going to eat him up i hope he does well because you're gonna want to see a lot of him he reminds me of well two people one there was this guy from uh the circle brazil i don't remember his name but yes and two he also reminds me like he could have been on the cat on the Productions of um, Big Brother Columbus. I don't know. This isn't shady. I'm not trying to be shady, but I could tell from his videos that he is sneaky. Um, and he knows what words to say to get what he wants out of people. Isn't and shady, I think huh? he's going to bring that to the news. Up next is Madison. She is a student from Texas, but she's studying in Arkansas. Madison, <laughs> Maddie for short, is something else. Y'all are going to fall in love with her. She is the perfect mixture of, like, emotion but understanding at the same time. And she says her okay. mind. Maddie is full of energy, and she just has a presence about her that you're going to know who she is whenever she's in the room, whenever she's walking into a room. She's just someone who is like a lightning bolt of energy and emotion. <laughs> Maddie actually has some people yeah. from season two that she's not on the best of terms with. And this oh. season being baggage, anything can happen. Oh um, no. Oh no. Shit. They're gonna bring someone back from season two. I wonder who she does who she has baggage with. Knowing her, it'd be someone like Athena. She's that no tea, no shade. <laughs> so we have Nicole. She works in the healthcare industry, and something that's really important Ooh. to her is foster care and housing for an exchange student. She serves on a lot of boards to like better Ooh, her community, so and I love that about her. On the other hand, Nicole is so strategic. Her application was really long, like no shade, Nicole. Her application was really long, but it was full of so much strategy, and it wasn't just strategy that was like this. Is what Damn, I want to do. thirteen this is what minutes, wait, girl. 13 minutes for an application video. Damn. She was like, no. She was getting down, the, down to the nitty-gritty details that she has perfected through playing online games and hosting her own. Next, we have Shane. He works in reality television and is oh. from Los Angeles, California. Shane has also been a super fan of the Totem Pole, which means a lot to us. And his application really stood out to me. And here's why. A lot of people who apply for reality games are really competitive. And so is he. A lot of people want to make it to the end. Of course he does as well. But a lot of people are savage. They're aggressive. They will cut you at all costs. They will fight to make it to the end. Shane, however, is unique because I could see in his video, he just has this kindness about him where oh. he cares about you. He makes a point that it's not about, you know, doing whatever it takes to get to the end. He believes that if you build those relationships and you actually care about people and you show how you're going to benefit other people and you're their friend yeah. and you get to know them, how it can really benefit your game. He sounds cute. <laughs> That's adorable. Honestly, though, me, but I'm a little savage. I can be... It depends on the situation. On top of that, it is simply iconic that he works for Big Brother. He works for Celebrity works Big, for Brother, Big Brother, Love Island. This bitch works for Big Brother. Ooh, girl. All right. And he's in the world of reality television, and he's someone, you know, on the other side of the camera when it comes to the shows that we love. It's going to be amazing to watch him. Up next, we have Connor. Connor actually sent in two applications, which is usually like a no-no. But his first application was super impressive, and his second one just told us so much more about him on an emotional level, which was perfect. And that's what we're looking for. We just want to know who you are. Peel back the onion, take off the layers, and show us who you are. And that's exactly what he did. And to be honest, I fell in love with him. His first video showed us just how funny he is. He's someone that can make you laugh. He also wants to win this game at all costs. But the thing that stuck out to me about Connor was he said that he's no 
longer going to let that baggage define him. He is no longer going to be weighed down by anything. Girl, you fucking work that shit. You work that. Do not let anything hold you back. Do not let any sort of baggage weigh you down. Please. Up next, we have Josh, a photographer from Orlando, Florida. Josh is a powerhouse player. I recognized Josh from a live reality game called Mayhem Manor and some other online reality games, and I knew that he was a huge super fan of the totem pole. He had made edits of CJ from season two and posted them, <laughs> which are great. We watch all of those too. I love them. Josh is so funny. He's absolutely hilarious. He's going to keep you laughing. He's going to keep the cast laughing. Honestly, I'm going to be laughing behind the camera. He is so funny. I think Josh is another one of those players where his game is going to depend on how he handles this baggage twist. So up next is Derek. He is like a lightning bolt. Something about him that draws you to him. You're going to fall in love with him. He's going to be the firecracker of the season. authentic. Nothing about him is fake. If he doesn't like you, you're going to know. If he likes you, you're going to know. And knowing someone like him with this cast and with a baggage twist... I just know he's going to be dynamite, and he's going to be amazing to watch. <laughs> so, mm. good luck, everybody. <laughs> Up next, we have Sabrina from San Antonio, mm. Texas. She that's is a the bitch. physical therapist, and you may know her from... Yes, school. that's her. I fucking love her. Somewhere else. Sabrina actually is from Big Brother Columbus, another oh. reality YouTube show, where, in fact, yes. she won. Sabrina is Correct. a powerhouse player yeah she is someone who fights her way through everything and she won she deserved that fucking win honestly like i wasn't rooting for her throughout the entire game but i saw her game i was rooting for someone else but they got eliminated and she that she deserved this one brother columbus so sabrina is such a social player but she also brings this physical dynamic to it as well mm. up next we have jada jada is from texas oh. and something that is super fun and unique about her is that she is tiktok famous yes we have a tiktok star Wait, really? you can look at her tiktok here and go follow her and watch all of her videos she's absolutely hilarious you're gonna find her so funny there's oh. also two more people joining the cast that i cannot reveal yet but two players are coming back to play this game. Yes. Two players with the baggage who are back for redemption to try to do what they can to win this game. But I thought you said there was four people ret- coming to the game. Are two of them returnees and two of them people that the some of the players may not like? Who do you think the two returning players are? Who are you rooting for out of this cast? I'm excited to see what every cast member because for me to give like a ranking early on doesn't it, it's not fair because I don't know what they're gonna do. Um, as we watch it, I could probably give you a better read, um, but I want I want to see what these people can do, and I want to see what twists we got. I want to see who returns. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to watch Totem Pole season three. Um, but yeah. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next episode. Over and out.